What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Vontae the First back again with another video. You already know every Friday I do that My Hero Academia. Like I said, you guys already know, you know the routine. Um, last chapter was a great chapter, just like the one before that. Um, first, we started out pretty much with, um, if I can remember correctly, did it start out like that? Uh, well, we've seen people from prisons that, that ended up getting broken out of the prisons. They were in the streets, you know, going to little stores and shit just fucking up stuff and then you see civilians have to fight back uh because there's no heroes out there which is something i did not agree with i feel like heroes should be out there and do their job instead of quitting and all that shit like i get it society is starting to look at y'all different but come on now like if if this is your profession if this was some a dream of yours how did you just you know what i'm saying like i, I really don't like that i don't like that at all it shouldn't be that many people uh, heroes that end up quitting or just closing shop, you know what I'm saying? But we did see the boy Wash out there. He got there late. Some uh, civilians ended up getting beaten up, uh, probably killed, probably. I don't know, but most mostly beaten up. And then there were people throwing shit at him. Like, they, they throw a pan at that boy Wash. They're like, why you come late? I'm like, hey, he can't do everything, you know what I'm saying? He was probably somewhere else doing some shit and whatnot, but it wasn't heroes in the, any anywhere in the streets in the area, but then a lot of these cities, though. Um, so, and then twice, I mean, not twice, uh, Wash, he was like, he was looking like, like, really, nigga? <laughs> so he just said, all right, let's get all the injured people to the hospitals. He was like, let me just do my job and just, you know what I'm saying? Just block out all that unnecessary shit that they talking about. I'm doing my job. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm doing my job. And then later on, we ended up going to, um, we actually seen Stain. He had a, a blade and you know, he had a, a I think it was like a dagger or something like that and he out there you know what i'm saying um i don't know what he's gonna be doing for now on he was just like in a broken down like store or something so who knows what he's gonna do i mean there ain't no heroes out there for him to kill so i don't or not many so you know what i'm saying he might end up helping the heroes now since he see that a lot of the heroes out in the streets are actually um they're good heroes they're actually trying to save people so i think he will ally with them so that'll be a good thing to see you know what i'm saying and very interesting to see him uh like i said become an ally um with the heroes in general you know especially the ones that we know of that are like more main cast you know what i'm saying they're not necessarily side character ish heroes um and then later on we got to the todoroki family stuff endeavor was in the hospital just contemplating about his position um or really not even just his position as a number one hero but more so about his family um turmoil and all the stuff with toya and all that you know what i'm saying he's a man with like with huge regrets and he feels guilty because he really is guilty for what happened with Toya. And it looks like now this chapter, we're more so going to get into it because we just seen Ray, Shoto, Fuyumi, and Asu pull up. So, you know what I'm saying? And Ray looks serious. He looked like she's trying to, she's putting her foot down and having to talk with that boy. So let's get into the next chapter. We're going to get that chapter 301 going. It's such an honor. It's such an honor endeavor, son. The Himura name has an extensive history as a prestigious family line. The perfect partner for a top hero such as yourself. She was a woman like ice. Interesting. That boy never looked mad. Chill, nigga. Chill. <laughs> like a demon. He looks so mad. <laughs> Damn. Even knowing that it was a court marriage, she said she would become my wife for the sake of her family. Interesting. So that's another thing, because a lot of us have, like, in just my hero community, have been, um, you know, curious to see if Geeten or Geeten, or however you want to say, I call him Geeten, how Geeten, like, if Geeten is related to Ray, which is most likely, because now they just introduce that fact that she's from a prestigious family. I think we already knew that, but now that, just me personally, now that I, like, know that now, you know what I'm saying, it makes sense. He also has, like, white hair, kind of looks similar to her, and he uses ice, so most likely he's from that family as well, which is interesting. Maybe he was trying to get away from that family and like how they wanted to do things or something. Cause right now it does say that uh basically it's a quirk marriage and I guess they like basically position them like family members with heroes too. So maybe he just was against all of that and something happened with that. But who knows? We, we might get it. Maybe, maybe not. But let's continue. I've been waiting ages for you to have a day off so we can train together. Why are you saying you can't do it now? <laughs> yeah, boy, fired up. Literally, you got a shirt that says fire on it. <laughs> I've told you several times already. I'm not, I'm doing this for your own good. Quite the peculiar case. In regards to his quirk, he's inherited your fire. However, his body is dominated by his mother's genes. Huh. 
To be precise, he's developed a body that has an aptitude for the cold rather than a tolerance to fire. Damn, so that really is a backfire. No pun intended. <laughs> so, um, Toya's body, so basically, yes, he has his father's quirk and whatnot, but he has his mother's genes. Like, his body is dominated by his mother's genes. So, say if his, hypothetically, if he had his father's genes, I guess he would be more like Endeavor. But would his um, flames still be, like, hotter and blue? Like, would they? Because if so, that's that's cool enough, you know what I'm saying? Um, since he didn't have an ice and fire quirk, that you know that that works out. That works out pretty well, I guess. But since it didn't, that's like a double down, just backfire. Once again, no pun intended. This method of designing children is a taboo in this generation. Of course, it's better you quit now. Today, he saved as many as 62 towns. With all might on our side, we shall never submit to evil. Toya, if it's you, you can surpass all might. For you, Michan. So what if I get burned a bit? I can handle it. I'm the one who understands my body's best. But Fuyumi doesn't like seeing Toya con <laughs> covered in owies or Toya knee covered in owies. Fuyumi chan doesn't get it. Girls just don't understand. But I'm worried. I've already decided that I want to surpass him. Dad's the one who ignited that feeling in me. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but that's too much. It's, it's just cruel. Toya. Toya can already tell you want something from the children. No matter how much I try telling him, he shows up with new burns every day. Crazy. He's inherited my foolishness as well. If we want him to give up, then we have no choice. Toya can't surpass him. And now we see Natsu as a baby. We see Toya looking at it. It's like his hope is just going, it's just dwindling on him now. Since there's every new child that's coming in, because since Toya's the oldest, damn, that's kind of crazy. Because Endeavor fed all of this shit into his head that he's going to surpass All Might one day. You got to do this. You got to do that. And then once they went to the, see the doctor and all that, they found out that, you know, since his mother's genes was dominant in his body, that basically the flames of Endeavor or, you know, Toya's, because it is his flames, you know what I'm saying? He basically is going to always burn himself because he doesn't have Endeavor's. Endeavor's genes isn't dominant within him, so he can't control and all that, like how Endeavor can. That's crazy, it just backfires on him. I keep saying that, but it's, hey, it's a pun indeed, but hey. <laughs> and we see Endeavor looking frustrated. We see All Might smiling, and you see Endeavor get more frustrated, and you see Ray looking at him. Now you see Shoto born. I like how they doing all this stuff, chronological order, but like just flashing forward, you know what I'm saying? And you see uh, Endeavor is like, he look like he's kind of souped. Like, yes, I finally got a child that can basically withstand the fire. And he has ice. Perfect. <laughs> you see Toya. And he's, like I said, his hope is just dwindling. It's just going down and down and down and down. They're doing a great job. Horror Coach is doing a great job. And you see Shoto there. Crying as a baby. <laughs> Dad, I can surpass him too. Look, I'm able to make such strong flames. Look at me. And you see him crying. He's just hurting himself and burning himself. Stop it. Why don't you understand? You're getting this burnt and you still don't realize. Toya, you need to look elsewhere. Play it for Yumi or Natsu. Make some friends at school. There are other worlds outside of being a hero. Don't you understand? See, Endeavor, this is your fault, man. This is your fault. Eventually, you'll forget all about it. But everyone at school says they're going to be heroes. There's no way you understand. Because I'm your son. Damn. God damn. He needs to cool down. Dad ignited it in, in me. And it won't go away. I can't get it out of my head. Look at me, Endeavor. Look at me. Ah, damn, man. It's crazy. Damn. You see him just burning himself and just using his flames too much. And then, damn. And you see Shoto's a baby looking at him. That's crazy. One of the most pain isn't you. And you weren't the only one who refused to look at that child. Yeah, that chapter was solid. Very, very, very solid. I really like that. Uh, if I can give it a rating right now, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I loved it. These last few chapters been really good. Um, Todoroki family stuff, and then we have Hawks too on the side from um, about three chapters ago or two rather. Um, but yeah, this chapter, like I said, it was very solid. We learned more. We had more development from the Todoroki family. We learned more about you know um, to about Toya and how Endeavor basically in the beginning, which we knew already that. He was the reason why Toya wanted to be a hero. He told him that he was supposed to surpass All Might. So he was so Toya, in his mind, he was working harder and harder. But then in this chapter, we got confirmed that, um, well, we seen that Endeavor and Ray went to a, a doctor. And basically the doctor told him that 
Toya has his mother's dominant, so his, his mother's genes is dominant within him, within, within his body. Um, but you know, he has his father's quirk. So since her genes were dominant within him, he can't really withstand that heat and he's going to just keep on burning himself because it's not compatible. I guess, you, you know what I'm saying? To put it in that, um, just to put it like that, pretty much, um, it's not compatible. So damn, that just makes me think like if Toria ended up having his father's dominant genes, would he still have issues with his flames? Cause his, fl his flames were blue and blue flames are a lot hotter. So would he still have those kind of, um, like would he still get burned a lot or would he actually be able to control it like Endeavor, it's just it'll be hotter and whatnot. So technically he would have been able to surpass Endeavor in a sense, but since his body literally can't withstand the flames, the heat that he emits, it, you know, it's, it's bad, it's just bad luck on that end. But, um, and now we see in Ray, I guess she's kind of putting blame on herself as well as a parent. That's what it looks like in the last panel of, but we'll see how the officials look and how they come out. Cause this is just the scans and some things could have been a lot different. So this was a, a huge, like a heavy dialogue chapter pretty much um, with all the flashbacks and stuff. So it might be a lot of uh, mistranslations and stuff within the scans, but for the most part, I think we got, we get the gist of what was happening. Um, and with Endeavor too, like a lot of this, because, okay, so in one of the Toya backstory chapters, I believe it was like the second chapter after he revealed himself or whatever to being Toya, Dobby being Toya, uh, we've seen that Endeavor wasn't actually like that bad of a guy, you know what I'm saying, from the get go. Instead, he wanted, like, just like in this chapter, he wanted Toya to surpass him and surpass All Might and do all that. And he had good intentions from that. But then we want, but we didn't really get the confirmation of what exactly happened. But in this chapter, we got a different perspective. Um, and I think that's probably what we're going to be doing for the next few chapters. Because this chapter is mostly like an Endeavors and Ray's kind of perspective of the matter. And then seeing Toya, he was basically wanting to, um, you know, because Endeavor fed all of that into his mind to be, you know, to surpass him and surpass All Might someday. So he was fixated on that, even though Endeavor and Ray had figured out that his body wasn't compatible with his fire, so he's gonna always burn himself. And Toya did just that, always burnt himself, but always try to prove a point to Endeavor. And it's it's really, a lot of people are at fault at this. Even though Toya is a child, he is still at fault because of the fact that Endeavor actually told him, you can go to school, meet friends, but choose something that's different from a hero's work and whatnot, because you know it's gonna be detrimental to him if he uses his power, he uses quirk. Um, so technically it is Toya's fault because he kept trying to push it, but it really is Endeavor's fault as well because he's the one that put that into his mind in the first place and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? It's it's just, it's just crazy, man. It's it's very, it's a ridiculous thing, <laughs> a very unfortunate thing. But um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people might end up, like a lot of people reading the chapter might end up getting kind of confused as to like the narrative of what we already knew about earlier, you know what I'm saying? with the whole um, Endeavor situation. But the thing is, I believe we knew about Endeavor like in the in the bad light from Shoto, uh, Natsu, Fuyumi, not necessarily, but you know, she's a part of it. So, and Davi in a way, cause since it's revealed. So we got all the perspective from those people, like, you know, a whole concoction of their um, impressions on Endeavor. Cause they were children when Endeavor was actually like a good person, but as they got a little older, you know, time went by after the whole um, Dobby accident or Toya accident, rather. That's when they started to, you know, see him differently and stuff. And like I said, they're a little bit older, so they don't really remember the, um, some shit. Most of their life, they probably spent like disliking Endeavor pretty much. It wasn't a lot of time where they actually enjoyed him or even remember his, you know, nice side per se. Um, so yeah, is this a different, it's just a new perspective that we're getting in the story. It's nothing really changed in the narrative. I mean, that's just how storytelling works. You know what I'm saying? Exposition and all of that. We need to get the little steps to, you know, to get where we're at from point A to point B to point C and et cetera. So Horikoshi is doing a great job with this, the storyline. And I feel like we might get like more in-depth um, perspective from maybe the kids now in a sense, cause you know, they came to the hospital as well. So they might, you know, try to conjoin the present time with flashbacks once again. Um, but yeah, I love this, this plot line with the whole Todoroki family. It's, it's just genius on Horikoshi's part in my opinion, um, because he doesn't have to do that. He doesn't have to uh, focus on 
uh, family type things in this show of superheroes and stuff. Because really, when we see a lot of superhero esque shows, we don't really get more. We don't really get a lot of family type stuff. You know what I'm saying? And if we do, it's usually when the person's going to retire and they want to start a family and all that. But my hero, we have family tie stuff throughout the whole show. Within the students and their parents, um, we get uh, some sibling things here and there. We and then now we know Ray. Her family is a prestigious family. Um, and I probably already, I probably, they probably already said um, that she was from a prestigious family, but I didn't really pick up on it until now. But either way, it's confirmed she's from a prestigious family. So you got people like Geetin that's potentially in her family as well. So yeah, family ties everywhere. Then Shigaraki with his father and then his grandmother, um, Nana, which she was the um, the uh, sixth user of uh, one, four, six, seven, seven, something like that. Damn, I'm forgetting. But y'all y'all, know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, so he Horikoshi does a great job with family type things. And that's something that I like a lot because it brings characters to life in the sense where they're more, you know, we see how human they are, how like um, that they actually have lives outside of heroes work. And we're getting a lot more of that because heroes are quitting and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Even though, I, like I said, I don't agree with the heroes quitting and closing up shop, but hey, here, here we are, here we are. Dobby did his thing. He's, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, that's pretty much all I got for this chapter. Like I said, it's an 8.5 out of 10, I'd say. Um, I can't wait for the official so I can reread and just see little things that um, are clear to actual translations. If they're, you know what I'm saying? If there's like a lot of mistranslations from the scans, you know what I'm saying? We will get uh, confirmation from the official. So yeah, um, like I tell you guys every video, Please just stay safe, stay healthy, stay clean. I'll see you on the next one. Pretty soon, eventually, I'll be dropping some new heat. I right? New heat on the channel. But yeah, without further ado, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace.